In the shadows of the majestic Forbidden City, a tale unfolds, woven with threads of opulence, ambition, and the resilience of women bound by the complexities of imperial rule. After the death of Emperor Kanlong, the concubines who once adorned his court found themselves thrust into a tumultuous journey, fraught with challenges and uncertainty. Within the gilded walls of the palace, they grappled with fierce competition, isolation from their families, and the constant threat of losing their coveted positions. Their lives were governed by strict protocols, their desires suppressed in a world of calculated relationships and shifting allegiances. As the Qing dynasty faced its decline, the concubines stood as silent witnesses to the ebbing tide of power. This is the story of their struggles, a testament to their strength and the unyielding spirit that thrived amidst the shadows of emperors. Emperor Qianlong's death in 1799 marked a significant turning point in the lives of the concubines within the imperial palace. As the news of his passing spread throughout the Forbidden City, an air of uncertainty and apprehension descended upon the hallowed halls that had once been home to the mighty emperor. Qianlong had been a powerful ruler, overseeing the vast Qing dynasty with authority and determination. Throughout his reign, he had accumulated a large number of concubines, each vying for his favor and attention. These women came from diverse backgrounds, brought together by their desire to secure a place of prominence within the imperial court. As the news reached the ears of the concubines, a mixture of grief and trepidation filled their hearts. For many, Qianlong had been their lifeline, their only source of power and protection within the palace walls. With his demise, they faced an uncertain future, unsure of what lay ahead for them. The court Yenich, ever watchful and loyal to the emperor, began making preparations for the mourning rites and funeral proceedings. The concubines were not allowed to participate directly in these ceremonies, but were expected to mourn within their own quarters. They were confined to their chambers, their colorful garments replaced by somber robes of mourning, and their once ornate hairstyles replaced with simple, unadorned ones. As the days turned into weeks, and the mourning period came to an end, the fate of the concubines hung in the balance. The new emperor, Jiaqing, Qianlong's son, ascended the throne, and his reign brought forth a period of uncertainty and change. Jiaqing was a different ruler than his father. He was strict and conservative. With his ascension, he implemented reforms that aimed to curtail the excesses and extravagance that had become prevalent during Qianlong's reign. One of the most significant changes introduced by Jiaqing was the reduction in the number of concubines. Recognizing the excessive size of the imperial harem, he sought to streamline and consolidate his power by minimizing the influence of these women. Jiaqing ordered a rigorous selection process to determine which concubines would remain in the palace. The criteria were based on beauty, intelligence, and the ability to bear children. The concubines, aware that their fate hung in the balance, sought to make themselves indispensable. They meticulously prepared themselves, enhancing their beauty, studying poetry and literature, and engaging in conversations to showcase their wit and intelligence. For many concubines, the outcome was heartbreaking. Those deemed unworthy of remaining within the palace were stripped of their titles and privileges. They were banished, sent away to live a life of obscurity outside the palace walls. However, for those fortunate enough to survive the selection process, life within the palace continued, albeit under a new set of rules and regulations. Jaking enforced strict protocols and curtailed the extravagant lifestyles that had characterized his father's reign. The concubines were expected to be modest and discreet, their actions and movements monitored closely by the ever-vigilant court Yenich. With the passing of time, the concubines adapted to the new regime. They formed alliances, engaging in subtle power plays and intrigues to secure their positions. Some managed to captivate Ji King's attention, becoming his favored concubines and exerting influence over his decisions. Yet, despite the challenges they faced, the concubines also found solace within their unique sisterhood. Within the palace walls, they formed close bonds, offering each other support and companionship in their shared existence. As the years passed, the concubines witnessed the decline of the Qing dynasty. 
External pressures and internal strife plagued the empire, ultimately leading to its downfall. With the collapse of the imperial system, the lives of the concubines were forever altered. Some managed to escape the palace, seeking refuge outside the confines of the Forbidden City. The once powerful and influential concubines faced a future marked by uncertainty and anonymity. With the passing of Emperor Qianlong, the Imperial Palace fell into a state of mourning, its halls draped in sorrow and uncertainty. The concubines, once surrounded by opulence and privilege, now found themselves grappling with the aftermath of their mighty ruler's death. The court Yenich, dutiful guardians of the palace, began making preparations for the morning rites. The palace, once alive with the bustling of daily affairs, now felt like a ghostly echo of its former self. The absence of Qianlong's commanding presence weighed heavily on the concubines' hearts. He had been their anchor, their source of power and protection within those gilded walls. As the mourning period drew to a close, a new emperor, Jiaqing, ascended the throne. His reign ushered in an era of change, as he sought to restore traditional values and reign in the excesses of his predecessor. The concubines, accustomed to a life of luxury and privilege, now faced the harsh reality of Jiaqing's reforms. Gone were the days of unfettered indulgence. The new emperor's first decree was to address the excessive size of the imperial harem. He sought to streamline his power, curbing the influence of the concubines and restoring order within the palace. A rigorous selection process was set in motion, one that would forever alter the lives of those vying for the emperor's favor. The concubines found themselves thrust into a web of uncertainty and competition once more. They prepared themselves meticulously, enhancing their beauty and refining their skills, for their very existence hinged on impressing the discerning eyes of the court officials who evaluated them. Each concubine held her breath as her fate was decided, anxiously waiting for the verdict that would determine her future. Some were deemed unworthy, their dreams shattered as they were stripped of their titles and cast out of the palace. They were forced to leave behind the world they had known, now relegated to a life of anonymity beyond the palace walls. For the fortunate few who survived the selection process, life within the palace continued, albeit under a different set of rules. The concubines were expected to embody modesty and discretion, their every move monitored by watchful eyes. Yet, within the confines of their chambers, the struggles persisted. The concubines formed intricate alliances and rivalries, engaging in subtle power plays to secure their positions. They walked a tightrope, carefully balancing their desires for influence and survival, all while concealing their ambitions from the ever-watchful eyes of the court. The passing years saw the decline of the Qing dynasty as external pressures and internal strife eroded its foundations. The concubines bore witness to the crumbling empire, their lives intertwined with the tumultuous tide of history. Their existence became a reflection of the fleeting nature of power and the fragility of human existence. As the once mighty dynasty fell, some concubines seized the opportunity to escape the palace, seeking refuge outside its confines. Others were left behind, forgotten remnants of a bygone era. The once powerful and influential women faced an uncertain future, their destinies forever altered by the winds of change. In the annals of history, the tale of Emperor Qianlong's concubines remains etched in the sands of time. Their lives, filled with grandeur and adversity, reflect the intricacies of power and the indomitable human spirit. Through fierce competition, isolation, and the ever-present uncertainty, they persevered. As the Qing dynasty crumbled, their lives mirrored the transient nature of empires, a reminder of the fragility of human existence. Though the palace doors have long been closed and the echoes of their stories faded, the struggles faced by these women resonate across the ages. Their journey sheds light on the complexities of gender, power, and societal expectations. Their strength and perseverance serve as a testament to the indelible spirit that endures even in the most challenging of circumstances. May the stories of Emperor Qianlong's concubines serve as a reminder of the strength that resides within each individual and the profound impact that history's hidden voices can have on our understanding of the past. 
Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed watching today's video. Also, subscribe to our channel to keep learning about the lives of historic emperors like these.